So, in this video, I wanted to share with you my um, ephemera kit, my fairy and botanicals ephemera kit. Um, and I'm also um, just sharing a fairy um, journal that I'm making um, to show you some of the pages that you get if you buy the, the complete kit with the full size pages. Now for this journal, I've cut down the pages. I've cut them down. I've printed them out on A4 or letter sized paper. And then I've cut them in half and folded them in half again because it's quite a small journal. So I just wanted to share with you um, some of the images. Some beautiful butterflies. This kit is, um, well, as the name suggests, it's fairies and botanicals. So that's the whole theme. Butterflies and gardens and... Um, some uh, oh, dragonflies, sorry. And this journal I made out of an envelope, which the cover out of an envelope, which I will show you in a minute, I think. So we'll just wait for that bit. Okay, so that's one of the journaling cards also that I've got on my cover. But it's a very, fairly big ephemera kit. You've got two little mini cabinet cards. Um, there with some beautiful fairy images. Some more journaling cards. A large tag. beautiful vintage images there and then the, those are four little mini bingo cards with fairy images these are album pages um, there's six of those that I've resized down to make little mini journal cards and then I have some other little cards with botanicals on them and some more little cards with butterflies even smaller little tags some more little tags with butterflies and words on them and then you get the little tickets which you can use double or you can cut them in half also you get a page full of words all of the words are anything to do with fairies and gardens etc and you can cut them out using scissors or you can use a punch as I'm demonstrating with my little tag punch that I have and there you have it And I've just printed all my kit out onto some thin cardstock. I think now I'm explaining I made the cover from one of these envelopes. Just fold it in half and I glued fabric to either side. Just some sort of creamy coloured fabric that I had and frayed the edges a little bit. And this, this is going to be my personal fairy journal. For those of you who know me, you know that I really like fairies as well. I do have a Facebook page, um, which is fairies. So I'll put the link below. 
Now these little envelopes are teeny tiny little envelopes with uh, little pieces of paper that go inside. And I'm going to be making some of these and selling them in my shop because I have a little die cut. Um, so I thought why not share them. So I'll probably sell them in packs of say 10 and add those to my Etsy shop which I will link below. They are so so cute. You can leave them plain or you can write on them or whatever you like. Stamp on them, decorate. Um, they're just a really cute little embellishment. So I'm just going to ink this one up. And um, these ones I have cut out with some kind of grey blue paper because it fits in with the um, colours of my journal. Um, but I'll also, in the shop, I'll be doing something on plain white paper, on book pages, on um, craft paper also, and tea dyed or coffee dyed paper. So have a look out for those. And here, the next thing I've been doing is I've been coffee dyeing envelopes. And these are just the plain white envelopes that you buy here in Australia. Just uh, not sure the exact size. Um, just your ordinary sort of average size mailing envelope. So I've coffee dyed those. And... What I wanted to share with you today was that I was going to make a couple of little pockets out of one and collage and show you my process, um, which I will add to the inside cover of my journal. So you just, I've already glued down the flap to the inside. And I'm just cutting these little extra bits off the corners. Um, just back to that envelope. Um, I think I'm explaining that I'm going to make another journal soon an envelope one but I'll be making it um, a leather look cover faux leather and I'll show you that process in my next video and I'll probably use my other fairy kit that you see there um, fairies in my garden um, plus a mixture of that one and probably this one as well the other fairy kit as well and so that may be my next video Okay, so the next thing I'm doing is I'm just gluing down some of the little flaps on the edges because when these envelopes are made, they, they do have little bits that kind of stick up. So we need to glue them down first. just going to cut it in half unfortunately my paper trimmer needs a new blade so I'm just using a craft knife and a ruler which is essentially all you need you don't need anything fancy and a cutting mat So now I will glue down any other little little bits that are sticking up and then glue down the sides to create a pocket.
So you just need a thin strip down the edge there so that you've got enough room to put things in your pocket. And I'm using, it's a white PVA glue that I've mixed with a bit of water. Um, I like to mix mine with water because it actually dries a bit quicker. And that's how you make Mod Podge. So I use about 60 to 70% white glue and 30 to 40% water. So now I'm using my Distress Ink. This is some Tim Holtz um, Tea Dye Distress Ink, which I like to use quite a bit. Just getting rid of those white edges, especially as we just cut the envelope in half. Crunching it up a bit. And then I'm showing you some little fairy stamps that I made. And I made those by resizing down some of my fairies in my garden kit with Photoshop down to a very small size. And I punched out the stamps, the blanks, with this punch, which decided not to work after I had punched out a few, unfortunately, because I actually wanted to also sell them in my shop. But if my punch works again or I find another one, I'll let you know. So essentially, I punched them out, then I glued down... Well, I first... Um, distressed everything with the ink and then I glued down the little image and the first one I've added some Mod Podge the second one I added some glossy accents which gives it a bit more of a shine and a kind of a plasticky sort of a finish put a hole in the top of that one because I'm going to add a, a little link chain and possibly hang it as a dangle. Okay, so back to the pockets. So this whole process, I hadn't actually even planned out what I was going to do. So um, I'm thinking as I go along. And I'm ripping out some little dictionary pages. This is a little French-English dictionary that I found in my local op shop. And I like to rip the edges a little bit so they look a little bit rough rather than cutting them. I'm going to rip the edges and then ink them up. To give them that distressed age look that we all like. The vintage. And I decided I'm going to use some of the teeny tiny envelopes as part of the embellishment here. I think I was saying in this video that, um, and I just said it again, um, I realised that I say um a lot when I'm making a video. And um, yeah, so I was explaining, I was trying not to say it too much. So I'm using the two little cabinet cards. The cute little fairies on them and um, yeah, just deciding, I decide to use a couple of little tickets as well. And 
just seeing if maybe a smaller card looks better. Then no, I decide the slightly bigger ones look a little bit better. And that one's maybe too big. Or just for the word and how I want it to look. And I don't actually have a sewing machine at the moment, so unfortunately, so I'm doing a lot of gluing and a bit of stapling. So I decided to use a little cabinet card and turn it into a side pocket. So I'm sort of you know, just messing around and collaging everything onto the um, book page, the dictionary pages, before I actually glue the whole lot down. And I'm just seeing which journaling cards I can fit inside the pockets there. There's my little teeny tiny envelope. I had a, a little bit of this um, sort of bluish tulle material which is quite pretty and I think fairy like um, and I thought I might try and use some there but I think I decided against that in the end. I wasn't quite sure how to attach it or um, sort of use it without it getting in the way of the pocket so I decided not to use that but I'll use it elsewhere throughout the journal and then I found this little lace trim that I had decided to use it on the edge of my little pockets And because it was just stark white, I actually end up inking it up with a little bit of the tea dye ink. Now I start distressing the edges of my little tags. <clears throat> I've cut these out with scissors and um, I'm really not very straight at cutting with scissors. But I'm explaining here that if you have got a little bit of white around the edges, as soon as you um, ink it up, it covers all that up. So inking your edges also hides a multitude of sins. So I'm inking up a little words as well. And you can ink it up just around the edges or all over. Depends what look you're going for. Inking up the teeny tiny tickets. Just 
still deciding where I want to place everything. So I glue down my little bit of braided lace first. And I'm using a clear glue for that one. Um, it's not Fabri-Tac, but it is just a clear craft glue and that's the one I like to use for things like fabric. And it seems to dry a lot quicker and hold the fabric down a lot better than uh, the plain white glue. PVA glue. So now I need to glue down my my little pocket, side pocket and decide how I want to attach my little word which this one says magic and the other one says fly and a lot of the little words in this one for me are like as little prompts for or inspiration for writing or thinking about what I'm going to write and they're all to do with fairies and fairy law and <coughs> excuse me and um, gardens so going down the little pockets And then what I did was I decided to staple the little words. So I'm just stapling them. I end up stapling them on an angle. Just like... Oh, change my mind again. This is just all part of the process. Okay, so there we go. It's a good idea to try out different layouts. Um, let's see what you think looks pleasing. adding my little envelope and I decide I want to write on this one you can leave it plain or you can write on it but I've just written um, the word imagine inside this little one Now I'm just gluing the whole lot down onto the envelope pocket. I realise if I wanted to I could have used my little envelope, glued it down as a pocket and um, fit the little tickets inside but then I decided not to do that and I yeah, decided to tuck it behind my word I 
I decide to write the word remember on the front. Thinking about adding a little stamp. a little flower which does look nice but I'm going to use those ones on the cover so I decided not to use that here and I think the little paper flower I decided it was too big my little envelope to the other side and both of these I'll be collaging in the same way the pockets um, but they'll be just opposite opposite sides now deciding what I want to put inside the little pocket Inking it up using tea dye ink by Tim Holtz, stress ink. And I think that looks pretty cute. Then I find some larger tags to put inside the pocket. From the little fairy ephemera kit. And I'm going to glue it inside the front cover of my little journal. Then I remembered some little bags or pockets that I've made out of raw baking paper. This is the unbleached baking paper, so it's kind of a brownish colour. And there I'm showing you that you can see through it. So these little pockets that I've made are kind of credit card size, but I'll be making some bigger ones, different sizes, and probably put those into my shop as well. And that's the baking paper that I used. Okay, so thanks very much for watching this video. I'll be back with another video hopefully in a couple of days. And thanks for watching. Bye.